Someone post log last Dengan teacher Lepas tu Dengan cikgu-cikgu lain Teacher tak tahu awak ada lagi kita Tapi dengan teacher You have one more slot left I believe Okay It's already 10 We're going to start the class now So jomlah kita Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum Good morning everyone Welcome to today's Ilmu Free um, I know this is the which session already Dah session yang keberapa dah awak dengan teacher Dengan cikgu juga lain So anyway Today um, as usual, you are going to focus paper one with me. Okay, dengan teacher, awak akan focus on paper one. So today specifically, we are going to have a look at your information transfer. Remember, kita ada dua bahagian yang dekat dalam paper you or dalam paper one awak that we have two. We have two information transfer uh, parts. I mean. Okay, ataupun questions. Kita ada dua bahagian di dalam paper one awak di mana kita ada soalan ya macam information transfer. Maksudnya apa? Nama pun information transfer. That means you will get a text and then you will have a bunch of questions. So you need to go answer the questions using the words from the text. I tu je kerja awak. It's very easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So hari ni soalan pun tak susah sangat. Teacher ambil yang level awak. Form tu sahaja. Nothing too advanced. So uh, jom kita tengok sikit soalan hari ni. Uh, so we have two questions or two texts for today. The first one is about Archimedes. I forgot what what did what exactly did he invent. Uh, Malam lah teacher dah lama tak sekolah kan. Nah, lupa dah Archimedes ni buat apa. All right, and then the first, so the first one again, I keep about Archimedes. Number two is about a diary by Shasha Shushu. Suka di teacher, di teacher letak nama dia. Okay, that's about it. We are going to have a look at the text and then uh, go through some of the words that you may not know. The first text, uh, the second text is quite easy. The first text mungkin ada a few words that you may not know. Mungkin ada yang awak tahu, ada yang tidak tahu. So kita akan go through the text and the words that you may not know. So right now, we are going to start. Are you guys ready? Hi, Alpha. Siapa lagi teacher dah hi tu? Hi, Sophia. Are you guys ready? Do you have everything with you? Your pens and papers, notes. Dah ada kat tangan ke belum? Hi, Intan. All right. If you guys are ready, sebelum teacher terlupa, jom kita pilih bunyi. Hari nak buat bunyi apa eh? If you have a question, kejap lagi, state your question. If you don't have a question, say, bloop, bloop. So, sebelum kita mula, kita nak tengok semua orang. If you're ready, say, bloop, bloop, in the chat box. Kita nak tengok dulu. Hi, Aiman. Hi, Echa. Ready? Okay. Hi, Akumar juga. So, since everyone is ready, jom kita start. Make sure that the pens and pencils in your hands, okay? All right. So before I take a few volunteers, ha, kepada yang baru masuk, teacher dia sebut tadi, since we are doing a reading exercise today, well, two reading exercises today, I'm going to need a few volunteers to help me read the text. So kalau ada lah yang sudi nak bantu teacher, angkatlah tangan, click on the raise hand button, uh, and then I will call out your names kejap lagi. Ha? Kita dah ada dua volunteer so far. Teacher perlukan untuk the first text, teacher perlukan lima orang. Kalau tak cukup lima orang, teacher akan bahagikan sama rata lah. Anyway, so before teacher panggilkan my volunteers, let us go through the words that you may or may not know. Okay, jom kita tengok. Alright, Akimidis. Paragraph 1. Aku mana volunteer juga? Boleh click on the raise hand button. Tekan yang angkat tangan tu. Kejap lagi teacher panggil. Alright, so everyone look at paragraph 1. Line number 2, I believe. Okay, can you see the word ancient there? Ancient Greece. So ancient tu maksudnya macam uh, zaman dulu-dulu punya lah. Macam purba kala, macam kuno, uh, macam tu lah. Okay, purba kala ataupun kuno. Ah, so ancient Greece tu maksudnya merujuk kepada tamadun Greece yang dulu-dulu punya tu. Alright? Okay, other than that, what else do we have? We have the word civilization. Civilization bermaksud tamadun. Again, civilization means tamadun. Okay, macam society. Betul, Danish. Okay. Um, this one bukan maksud lah. This is just the name of a place to accuse uh, Italy. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it because it's not English. This is not an English word, eh? So I think it's Syracuse. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's Syracuse. I don't know because it's Italian. I don't know. Tapi rasanya it's Syracuse. But it's a, a name, uh, the name of a place. Nama tempat. 
Okay. Lagi. Ada tak in paragraph one? I think that's it. Paragraph two. We have one word. The word is invasion. Invasion. Exactly, Danish. So, in, an invasion is like uh, satu serangan ataupun macam ah, serangan lah. Uh, okay. Satu serangan. Invasion ataupun pencerobohan pun boleh. Uh, okay. Satu serangan ataupun macam satu pencerobohan. Okay. Dan, sudah tulis? Next word. In paragraph three. Uh, by the way, sebelum ada yang tanya, teacher bagi tahu dulu lah. Ni. Uh, launched an invasion of Syracuse in 213 BCE, before Common Era. Teacher bagi tahu maksud je, before Common Era, BCE tu apa, what it do, what does it stand for, but don't ask me, teacher. Have you guys ever noticed, when it comes to years, kita ada banyak acronyms, BCE, BC, AD, blah, blah, blah. So, maksud dia apa sebenarnya? Okay, teacher dah baca. Tapi teacher dah terlupa. <laughs> I've read it before, but I've forgotten about it. Uh, this is not about English. It's related to general knowledge. Yes, before Christ. So, this one lebih kepada before Christ atau nama lain ni before common era. Dan masa Melayu dia is something about sebelum masihi lah lebih kurang. Okay, so teacher bagi tahu maksud dia tu sahaja. Specifically, beza dia apa dengan tanya lah teacher tak ajar benda tu. Alright, boleh eh? So again, BCE bermaksud before common era ataupun before Christ. Okay. Concentrated tu apa? Tertumpu ataupun, ah ni ada orang tanya teacher ni. The word, this word right here. Concentrated tu apa? Okay, so ayat ni dia kata a series of mirrors which reflected and concentrated. Menumpukan. So ada satu, dia ada satu device ni, satu alat ni yang mana akan, ada cermin-cermin. So cermin-cermin ni akan reflect dan, apa pasal mana you reflect kan? Eh? Membiaskan, lebih kurang lah, okay. So, dia akan uh, serap dia punya cahaya tu and then tumpukan dia kat satu tempat. Pantulkan lah, pandai je teacher ni. Pantulkan, terima kasih. Teacher dah lama tak sekolah, I forgot what we call it in Malay. <laughs> okay, so reflected tu dipantulkan, lepas tu nanti dia focus on a certain place. Uh, okay, alright. Lagi, next paragraph, we have the word catch it. Okay, capture kat sini bukan ambil gambar tu eh. Capture picture tak. Capture kat sini maksudnya dia orang biar, biar berjaya menawan lah in, the, in this sentence. Maksudnya, eventually however the Romans captured Syracuse. Maksudnya berjaya menawan. Dapat tangkap tempat tu. Dapat menawan lah. Okay, tawan tempat tu. Tawan tempat tu. Okay. And then we have the word lead. This is the past tense of the word lead. Okay, bermaksud dia orang uh, mengetuai. Okay. Lead is the past tense of the word lead yang membawa maksud mengetuai. Alright. Next, we have the word siege. Maksudnya kepungan ataupun maksudnya you know when a bunch of soldiers or military they surround a certain place. Okay. Tahu kan bila kita ada satu um, sekumpulan askar ke apa dia orang mengepung satu tempat. So that is what we call a siege. Exactly that is. It's like a blockade. Okay. Dapat tak? Dah tulis dah. You guys okay? Boleh ya? Alright, next one. In the next paragraph, only one word I think that you may not know. The word is heed. Heed maksudnya macam you peduli. So, kalau did not heed, maksudnya tak peduli. Kalau heed sahaja peduli, it's like the word mind. I don't mind. Okay, ah, macam itulah. So, heed adalah bermaksud uh, peduli. Did not heed, tak peduli. Okay, seaside tu apa? Pinggiran pantai. Ha, lebih kurang macam itulah. Tepi laut lah senang cakap. Okay, next. Last word. Bukan last word. Last paragraph. We have the word troubled. Just in case ada yang tidak tahu. This word bermaksud rasa terganggu. Okay, deeply troubled maksudnya sangat rasa terganggu lah. Okay. And then, the second last word. We have the word burial. Burial. Bermaksud pengebumian. Okay, pengebumian. It comes from the word bury. B-U-R-Y, bury bermaksud tanam. So, burial, pengubumian. Okay, last one. A fitting one. So, fitting kat sini bermaksud a suitable one. Again, a suitable one. Okay, dah. Dah tulis semua. Are you guys ready to go through the text now? 
I like your man, your meow, manina. <laughs> so cute. All right, if you guys are ready, let us go through the text. Okay, teacher perlukan seorang lagi. Sekarang ni, I have four volunteers. I need one more to help me read the paragraph. Kalau tak ada, kejap lagi, awak kena dengar suara petir teacher. Teacher baca the last paragraph. Ada tak? Kalau tak ada, teacher baca kejap lagi. Okay, tak apa. Sekarang ni, I have four volunteers. Let me look at the names. Okay, dah ada enam orang dah terlebih pula. Okay, tak apa. Yang enam orang tu yang lagi seorang, you will read the first paragraph of the next text. Okay, so biar je. Okay, saya sebutkan nama the first five dahulu. So the first one, uh, paragraph one will be read by Ami Amanina. Paragraph two, Akmal. Paragraph three, Aiman Adlina. Paragraph four, Danish Firas. Paragraph five will be read by Koiri. Um, Anissa, biar, uh, Anissa nanti akan baca the first paragraph of the second text. Okay, Anissa? All right. So, is everyone ready? Are my volunteers ready? Volunteers, teachers semua dah ready ke? I'm going to call out the first student, yang lain-lain. Teacher bagi a little reminder. As your friends read the paragraphs, if you have any other words, that we uh, that we have if you have any other words that you don't know but i didn't highlight them for you you can go ahead and ask me okay all right so jump kita start paragraph one again amanina okay after amanina will be akmal akmal, akmal get ready hi amanina yes. hello are you ready yes okay jump kita start <coughs> Archimedes was a well-known mathematician, scientist, mechanical engineer, and, and inventor in ancient Greece. He wrote many important papers on geometry, mathematics, and mechanics. He was born in Syracuse, Sicily, and educated in Alexandria, Egypt. He grew, he grew up in the golden age of Greek civilization. Yes, good job. Thank you, Amanina. Okay, inventor, what is it? Inventor adalah pencipta orang yang mereka-reka benda ni lah. Uh, bukan mereka benda cerita dongeng ya tak? Maksudnya dia buat benda. Uh, when someone invents something, bila seseorang mereka cipta sesuatu, kita panggil dia adalah seorang inventor. Okay, so this is again, paragraph one is all about, it's a little introduction to Archimedes. Who exactly is he? Siapa kah dia? Uh, seorang mathematician. Seorang scientist, seorang engineer, mechanical engineer, seorang inventor juga di zaman Greece dululah. Okay, tamadun dekat sana dulu kejap. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. And then dia ada cerita sikit apa. Uh, he wrote many important papers. Bukan maksudnya dia menulis kertas-kertas penting. Tidak. Papers dia refer to more like um, research. Ha, macam kajian-kajian lah. Senang cakap. Okay. Ha, Archimedes tu Archimedes tu apa? Nama orang, nama nama orang saya. Ha, Archimedes adalah nama orang. Okey. So kita tengah bercerita tentang seseorang yang bernama Archimedes. Okey? Alright, lagi. Ah, uh, dia berlahir dekat mana? Where was he born? He was born in Syracuse, Sicily. This is in Italy. Okey. Lagi, dia disekolahkan educated in Egypt. Uh, dibesarkan in the golden age Maksudnya era era uh, Golden age refers to the period When um, someone or something Is at the peak uh, Zaman kegemilangan lah Senang cakap uh, Zaman kegemilangan Era uh, tamadun Greek ini Okay Dah faham dah Are you guys okay Shall we go to the second paragraph Boleh ya If you have any other words Yang teacher dah sebut tadi Awak terlepas Nanti boleh buka kamus Okay All right, let's move on to the second paragraph. Akmal, after Akmal, we'll, we will have Aiman Adelina. Aiman, get ready, okay? Let's go with Akmal first. Akmal. Hi, teacher. Hello, are you ready? Yes. Let's go. When the Romans launched an invention of Syracuse in 213 BCE, Archimedes came up with a few inventions to define the city. One of these was the death ray, consisting a series of mirrors which reflected and concentrated the sun's rays onto the enemy's ship to set it on fire. Yes, exactly. Good job. Thank you, Akmal. One second. Let me lower Akmal's hand. All right. 
So in the second paragraph, what does it talk about? Okay, jom kita tengok kepada yang mungkin ada sedikit tak faham, jangan risau ya, teacher bantu you guys uh, explain sedikit. Okay, siapa yang dah faham, bear with me, let me help your friend, okay? Alright, so kepada yang tak faham tadi. So the second paragraph, dia cerita pasal apa pula? Bila orang Roma ni, orang Rom sana lah. Dia orang ni pergi launch an invasion. Dia lancarkan serangan, lancarkan pencerobohan. Um, dia orang nak serang Syracuse tu tadi tu pada tahun 213 sebelum masihi. So Archimedes ni, yang orang yang kita tengah bercakap ni, Archimedes ni dia ada uh, buat ataupun mereka beberapa inventions, beberapa ciptaan untuk defend dia punya bandar dia tu. Okay, so salah satunya, So dia ada buat banyak-banyak uh, inventions. So one of those inventions dipanggil uh, the death ray. Apa benda the death ray tu? It's basically a series of mirrors. Ianya so death ray ni ada ada pelba, ada banyak 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 cermin. So daripada cermin ni dia orang akan pant, uh, cermin ni akan pantulkan reflect reflect the sun rays. Dia akan pantulkan panca, apa sinaran matahari itu. And then they concentrate kan. You guys tahu kan macam kalau kita guna I believe. If I'm not mistaken, if we use like a magnifying glass, I think it's the same thing. Teacher dalam budak sekolah. Alasan yang sama. Ah, So, tak tahu salah teacher lah. I remember watching a cartoon when I was younger. Aku oh, tahu tak cerita Chibi Maruko Chan. I don't know if you guys know that cartoon series or not. Um, It was famous back when I was younger. Ada yang kenal lah. Okay, Chibi Maru Kocan tu comel tau. Dia macam think of Shin-chan but, uh, but the girl version. Uh, macam Shin-chan tapi versi, versi girl and dia, dia, besar, dia dah besar lah. Shin-chan kan like uh, a really young boy. Uh, Chibi Maru Kocan ni dia budak-budak besar sikit lah. Sekolah rendah. Uh, she was She's probably like eight or nine. Pun nakal juga. So teacher, I remember a, 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 an episode where Chibi Maru Kocan used a magnifying glass to burn a tiny paper. Ah, so teacher teringat lah scene tu. <laughs> Comel, ada yang dah pernah tengok ya? Okay, good. So that's basically what the death ray is. Ada cermin-cermin-cermin, dia pantulkan and concentrate the sun ray so that they get to burn the enemy's ship. Oh, ni dia kata apa ni? Onto an enemy ship to set it on fire. To set it on fire bermaksudnya to burn in the, the ship lah. To bend the shit down. Okay, so untuk bakar. Dah dah tunjuk dia bagi bakar dia. Boom, letup. Letup ke? Mana dia meletup? Mana dia teacher ni? Terbakar lah. Set it ablaze. Okay, dah faham dah? Boleh kan? Can we move on to the next paragraph? Ini kisah benar ke? I'm not so sure. I think so. I could be wrong. Nanti korang buatlah fact check. Okay, cerita tengok sikit. Cerita betul ke tak? It's, is, it, is it really Danish? Really? I don't know. Danish kata cerita benar. Mungkin lah kan? Cerita pun tak tahu. Okay, it could be. I think it is. Anyway, let's move on to Google sahaja. Nanti korang Google, okay? Buat fact check. Okay, let's move on to the next paragraph. We have, siapa tadi? Aiman, I believe. After Aiman, we will have Danish Firas. After Danish, we will have Koirin. So, let's go with Aiman first. Danish, get ready. Hi, Aiman. Hello. Okay, Aiman, mic test kejap. Mic test. Test, 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 test. Okay, can you please help me bring the mic closer to your mouth, please? But right now, you sound very small, like a tiny little mouse. Can you okay. hear me, miss? Okay, much better. Are you ready, Aiman? Yes, I am. Let's, let's go. Okay. Eventually, however, the Romans captured Syracuse. The Roman general Marcus C. Marcellus who lead the siege on Syracuse recognized and valued Marcades' genius. He warned his men that Marcades was not to be killed and his inventions were not to be destroyed. Yes, All right. Good job. Thank you, Aiman. All right, one second. Let me lower Aiman's hand. All right, so in this paragraph, what does it talk about? So this is lagi cerita. So remember, the Romans were trying to take over Syracuse. They were cuba untuk menawan Syracuse tu. Lama kelamaan, eventually they managed to do that. Mereka berjaya buat benda tu. Okay, mereka berjaya menawan Syracuse. Berjaya lah. Okay, and then apa yang berlaku? The Roman general. Ingat siapa yang nak tawan tu? 
uh, romance the romance yang nak menawan nak menawan siapa uh, the the uh, Syracuse uh, so the Roman general nama dia siapa Marcus Marcellus uh, dia ni Marcellus tak tahulah okey sebab Italian kan kita assume nama dia Marcellus Ketukar hati tukar nama dia Okay Roman uh, Siapa nama dia lagi kan? Marcus So Marcus ni He was the one who led the siege Dia ni yang mengetuai uh, Apa nama ni uh, Pencerobahan ataupun Kepungan tersebut uh, Dia lah captain senang cakap eh? Ataupun the general lah Okay so dia ni general Dan dia ni kesedar yang Atau dia tahu nampak Uh, kebolehan Archimedes ni ah, Recognize and value tu Maksudnya dia dia perak Nampak talent orang tu Dan dia macam Bagus dia ni Boleh guna ni ah, Macam tu lah okay? So dia kata dengan dia punya orang bawahan He won his man Dia bagi amaran sikit dekat orang bawahan dia Yang jangan bunuh Archimedes ni Dan dia punya inventions Were not to be destroyed Jangan bunuh Archimedes dan jangan hancurkan ciptaan-ciptaan dia. I remember Archimedes, Archimedes um, invented a lot of inventions. He made a few inventions. So yang dia punya ciptaan-ciptaan, ingat tak tadi kat paragraph 2? Okay, kan ada cerita tadi kan? He made a few inventions untuk defend dia punya bandar ataupun city dia tu. So dia punya inventions tu so yang dia orang kata, jangan, jangan setuh, jangan musnahkan. Simpan. Oh, macam tu. Okay? Dapat eh? Okay, let's go uh, to the next paragraph. Paragraph four. Okay, siapa tadi? Kita ada Danish. And then after Danish, we'll be Koirin. Koirin, get ready, okay? Hi, Danish. Hi, Miss. All right, ready, Danish? I was born ready. Let's go then. A Roman soldier saw Archimedes at the seaside but mm. failed to recognize him. The great scientist was deep in thought and did not heed the soldier's command. He mm. even offended the soldier by saying, do not disturb my diagram. Angry and insulted at being ignored, the soldier killed Archimedes on the spot. Oh, oh no! Okay, thank you, Danish. Good You're job, welcome. by the way. One second, let me lower your hand. Okay, so in this paragraph, what happens? So, ada a Roman soldier ni, ada pula se, seketul. <laughs> seketul Roman soldier, seketul askar Roman ni, dia nampak Archimedes ni at the seaside, tepian pantai. Lepas tu apa yang berlaku? Dia dah nampak Archimedes ni, dia tak recognize pula. Maksudnya dia tak cam. Lah, Archimedes rupanya tu, dia tak cam. Ah, masalah pula. So the great scientists were deep in thought and did not heed the soldier's command. So Archimedes ni tengah duduk dekat tepi pantai, senang cakap tengah berangan atau tengah berfikir lah. Dia macam, nak makan apa lah kejap lagi. KFC ke Pizza Hut. Jadi bila dia tengah termenung, dekat belakang dia ni tadi ada the Roman soldier, adalah seketul askar Roman ni. Bagi dia arahan But then Archimedes did not heed Tak dengar, tak peduli Pasal arahan Roman soldier tu tadi Siap, buat apa lagi? What else did uh, Archimedes do? Dia buat apa lagi? He even offended Dia macam buat orang tu rasa sentap lah Dekat dia buat So Archimedes sentapkan Roman soldier tu Apa dia cakap Do not disturb my diagrams Jangan kacau diagram saya Wah dia marah orang tu So yang uh, The Roman soldier ni Dia rasa marah Rasa terhina Sebab orang tu Sebab Hakimi disemarahkan dia Apa lagi Apa dia buat Dia peng Tembak orang tu Makanya matilah So Hakimi dis died On the spot Okay What is this particular diagram? I'm not sure. Tak tahulah diagram apa yang dia cuba cakap kat sini. Mungkin dia adalah tengah buat benda time tu kot. Okay. So mati. Dia pun kena tembak dekat situ. Ha, sebab apa? Sebab langgar peraturan. Okay. The last paragraph. Jom kita pergi dekat Koirin. Koirin. Yes, me. Alright. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. Marcellus was deeply troubled by the death of Archimedes at the hands of the soldier. He decided that the great scientist deserved a proper burial and gave him a fitting one. 
Yes. All right. Good job, Kyrie. And thank you again. One second. So the last paragraph ni apa yang berlaku since Archimedes were killed or was killed on the spot. So he died, obviously. So apa yang berlaku? Remember, the Roman general yang suka dengan Archimedes ni tadi, dia rasa macam sedihnya. Mati dah dia. Dia rasa terganggu sangat mati. Uh, Archimedes sudahlah mati sebab dia punya orang bawahan dia yang tembak ataupun bunuh Archimedes. So then what happened? Dia kata, tak apalah. Kita bagi dia, cik tak apalah. Kita bagi dia a proper burial. Kita kebumikan dia elok-elok. And dia bagilah pengembumian yang sesuai, yang bersesuaian dengan Archimedes tu. Well, that's the story of Archimedes in short. And ni lah cerita ringkasan kehidupan Archimedes itu. Okay, so can you guys understand the story now? Teacher Daba, kita dah go through, we went through the story together and I have also explained the story to you guys. I hope everyone can understand the story, eh? Boleh faham, ya? Eh? Shall we go to the questions now? Are you guys ready? Do you have any other words that you would like to ask me? Ada tak perkataan lain yang mungkin anda nak tanya teacher? Yang teacher dah highlight awak terlepas nanti boleh buka kamus tapi perkataan lain yang awak tak tahu tapi nak tanya. Ada tak? Tak ada eh? Diagram tu rajah. Okay, diagram tu rajah. So I'm not really sure dia cakap pasal diagram apa kat sini. Mungkin adalah time tu dia tengah. Mungkin, I imagine He was, remember he was standing at the seaside. Dia tengah duduk dekat, diri dekat tepi persisiran pantai tu, tepi laut tu. Maybe he was drawing something on the sand itself. Mungkin dia, dia ada lukis apa-apa dekat atas tanah tu. Uh, bukan tanah pula, atas pasir tu. Mungkin itu maksud dia, do not disturb my diagrams. So mungkin itulah maksud dia. Okay. Okay lagi. Mm, Insulted tu rasa terhina. Okay. On the spot. Maksudnya dia mati kat situ juga. Uh, itu maksud dia. Killed on the spot, maksudnya orang tu tembak dia, bunuh dia, ah, mati dia kat situ juga. Okay. Insulted rasa terhina, invasion invasion tu penjajahan tu teacher. Ah, lebih kurang lah maksudnya uh, satu attack, satu pencerobohan. Okay. Orang Itali ke Archimedes ni? I don't know, I guess so. Sebab Sicily tu is in Italy. Okay, so jom kita pergi dekat the questions. Let's go. Uh, kepada, I, I can see that ada lagi dua orang, tiga orang yang angkat tangan ni. I'll call your name sekejap lagi untuk the, the second text, okay? Nazira, Kistina and also Anissa. Okay, so jom, let's go through question 17 until question 24. So remember something. For the first information transfer, you would usually be asked to answer the questions with no more than three words. Untuk information transfer yang bahagian pertama, awak akan ada dua bahagian kan untuk information transfer. So for the first part, you biasanya akan diminta untuk jawab tak lebih daripada no more than three words or three uh, figures, no more. Okay, so hati-hati, be careful with that one. So jom kita jawab the first one. Number 17. 17 sebab ini ikut turutan dekat dalam paper paper 1. Eh? Number of roles mentioned about Archimedes. So berapa peranan yang Archimedes ni mainkan? How many roles? Berapa jumlah dia? Teacher bagi, I give you a hint. The clue is in paragraph 1. Ha! So what's the answer? I give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, exactly. The answer is there are four roles. Ada empat peranan dia mainkan. So you can write, simply write. You can simply write for that. Tulis empat sahaja. Okay, write it down. Aja lah sebaiknya you aja the word for. Okay. So where are your, where's your clue? Where are your clues pula? Where's your clue? The clue is in, is again in paragraph one. It's this part right here. Ah, he was a mathematician, scientist, mechanical engineer, and an inventor. So this one should label with number 17. Okay, clear? Is everyone okay? Shall we move on to number 18? Boleh ke? Hi, siapa lagi cik cik tak? Hi, Hi Lukman. Siapa lagi? 
Amina, Amanina Ticita, hi tadi. Hi Takif. Okay, jom kita pergi dekat. Number 18. Birthplace. Kat mana dia dilahirkan? Where was he born? Hi Istiha. 10 seconds again. 10. Uh, by the way, if you can fit the full answer in three words, then you give me the full answer. Okay, tip dia adalah. Tip untuk awak. Kalau awak boleh bagi jawapan penuh, menggunakan tiga perkataan, maka awak bagi jawapan penuh. Ajar macam, bagi jawapan pendek. Ha, itu hint tu. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the answer is Syracuse, comma, Sicily. Kalau you buat Syracuse in Sicily, pun boleh. Syracuse in. Okay, Syracuse di Italy. Pun boleh. Dia terima. Okay, this one pun boleh. Alright, so where's your clue? Your clue is in paragraph one or two? Paragraph one. Okay, it's this part right here. He was born in Syracuse, Italy. Italy, blah, Sicily. Okay, done. Shall we move on to number 19? Boleh? Semalam belas. Day the Romans invaded, invaded pula, invaded Syracuse. Bila tahun atau tarikh mereka menceroboh, menyerang Syracuse. Ha. Senang je ni. This is very easy. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the answer is... In 213 BCE, 200 tahun, pada tahun 213, sebelum Masihi. Where's your clue? It's right here. Ah, dah mula dah tu bahu dia sakit tu. Hey, okay. Uh, invasion of Syracuse in 213 BCE. Clear? Are you guys okay? Kalau tak tulis in, tak apa. It's okay. Tak tulis in pun tak apa. Kalau tu word sebayin tulis. But if you mess the word in, it's still fine. Okay. Senyum, senyum Danish tu. Kenapa lah tu? <laughs> okay. Next one. Um, BCE. Number 20. Invention used to defend Syracuse. Okay. What's the name of the invention? Ada satu invention yang mereka guna untuk defend Syracuse. What's the name of it? What was the name of the the the, the invention? Ten. <laughs> Sinaran kematian. <laughs> Ten. Kau nak buat cakap kan? Bukan teacher kan? Eh? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yes. The name of the invention was... The death ray, okay? Again, it's the death ray. If you just wrote, uh, if you answered it with just death ray, that is still acceptable, no problem. Tetap juga betul. Okay, where's the clue? It's in paragraph two or three? Paragraph two. It's right here. Uh, ni, a few inventions to defend the city. One of these was the death ray. That's your clue. Is everyone okay? Tak susah kan? I think the question is quite easy for your level. Senang je lah rasanya. Tapi kok-kok lah. Kalau ada soalan, boleh tanya. Okay? Jangan malu. Okay. Let's go to the, the next question. Number 21. What was the material of the invention? Apa nama material invention this word? Ha. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. So it was just a bunch of mirrors. Materialnya, maksudnya bahan dia tu je. Dia tanya apa nama bahan tu. Mirror je lah. Okay. Mirrors. Okay. Warna, what warna pula. Where's your clue? It's in still in the second paragraph. It's this part right here. Consisting of a series of mirrors. Okay. That's your answer. Kalau series of mirror betul ke miss? Betul sebenarnya technically kalau awak nak tulis penuh dia akan jadi a series of mirrors. Tapi tak perlu pun sebab tak cukup satunya. Um, you only have three, you can only use three words kan? Tiga perkataan je. Uh, so tak buat pun a series of mirrors tu. Lagipun dia cuma tanya the question only asks you about the material. Bahannya apa? So bahannya adalah mirrors. Uh, contoh, kalau baju. What's the material of this dress? 
Chiffon. What's the material of this shirt? Cotton. Ha, dia tanya awak punya baju tu, dia punya material tu apa? So, kita buat kalau material bahan itu tu sendiri. So, mirror sahajalah sebenarnya jawapan dia. Okay? Alright. Husband material kata Akmal. <laughs> Ish, awak ni sempat je. Okay, let's move on to number 22. What the invention does? Dia letak does. Sepatutnya date ni. Typo lah teacher ni. Okay, abaikanlah ke typoan teacher ni. So, what's the answer? Apa kerja? Apa function? The uh, invention. Uh, ni tukarlah teacher tak puas hati lah tengok teacher tertypo kat sini. Sendiri buat sendiri tak puas hati. Uh, tukar jadi date. Okay dah. Alright, nanti teacher kena tukar sikit ayat teacher ni. But it's okay. So what's the answer? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, the answer is the invention burns enemy's ship. Bakar kapal. Uh, apa enemy bahasa Melayu eh? Musuh. Ha, lupa pula tadi tiba enemy apa bahasa Melayu. Musuh. Okay, dia orang bakar. Function dia adalah untuk bakar uh, kapal musuh. Right, so ini teacher tukar sikit. Jadikan past tense. There we go. Sebab tadi soalan tu dalam present tense. So teacher jawab dalam present tense. Let's change it to the past tense. Okay. So where's your clue? Your clue is right here. Still in the same, uh, still in the same paragraph. Ew. Concentrated the sun's rays onto an enemy's ship to set it on fire. This girl is on fire. Oh, sedap kan suara teacher, teacher tahu. Okay, next part. <laughs> Kalau tak tukar past tense, boleh ke? Boleh, Anissa, no problem. Okay, number 23. Rank of the person who wanted Archimedes protected. So, apa rank? Apa rank sebenarnya? Apa? Jawatan. Ha, apa jawatan lah sebenarnya cakap. Eh? Apa jawatan um, orang yang nak lindungi atau protect Archimedes tadi? Apa rank dia? Ha. What's the answer? 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job, everyone. The answer is he was a Roman general. Okay? A Roman general. The tu sepatutnya, technically, you kena tukar jadi a. Tapi kalau awak letak the juga, it's okay, no problem. Okay? A Roman general. Yes, you may Danish. Siap tanya. Good job. <laughs> Good job lah. Good boy. All right, let's go to, hey, I forgot to show you guys the clue. So the clue is right here in the next paragraph. Okay, the Roman general. So dia kata, warn his men that Archimedes was not to be killed. So you guys can highlight that part. Okay. Last one. Number 24. Name of the person who captured Syracuse. Siapa nama orang yang berjaya menawai Syracuse itu? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we write the full name. Kita tahu nama penuh dia kan? So write, please write the full name. Nama orang. Name of the person. Dia bukan tanya name of the people. Kalau name of the people, barulah awak letak the Romans. Tapi dia tanya name of the person. Nama orang. So, orang je. So, yes, maksudnya, the question is referring to the captain lah, the general. Siapa general yang berjaya menawan. Managed to catch up. So, we write the, the name of the general. So, anyway, please make sure that you write the full name. Nama penuh, he? Okay. All right, and we are done with the first exercise. How did you do? Did you manage to get all of them right? Dapat betul semua tak? Ha. All right, good job. Who is the person and people? Person orang, people ramai. Okay, so done. Shall we move on to the next question? Boleh ke kita pergi soalan yang seterusnya? The next question is much easier. Lagi senang ya. Sekejap kita boleh siap. All right, job. Everyone, turn to the next page, please. So again, we are going to read Shisha 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 Shushu's diary. 
kita nak curi baca diary orang hari ini. Side note, please don't read other people's diaries. Ini hanya for the sake of the, the exercise, okay? Jangan pula awak pergi curi-curi baca diary kakak ke abang awak. Abang awak mungkin tak ada diary lah. Kakak ke adik awak mungkin ada lah. Jarang lah boboi tulis diary, okay? Mungkin ada je, tapi jarang lah. Okay, so dear diary by Shasha Shishu. Um, this one is very easy. There's only, I think there's only one word that you may not know. Mungkin ada satu je perkataan yang awak tidak tahu. So everyone, look at paragraph one, line number two. Again, paragraph one, line number two. The word is virtual. Virtual reality headsets. Tahukah, I, I know you guys Gen Z ni mesti tahulah apa benda tu virtual reality. Uh, VR, exactly. So virtual tu maksudnya macam alam maya lah eh. Benda yang not in reality. So itu maksud virtual. Okay, all right. So right now, I need... Four volunteers. Teacher perlu ke empat orang. Let me see. Ada empat orang tak? Oh, dah terlebih enam orang. Okay, I'm going to uh, call out the first four names. Teacher bacakan empat nama yang pertama. Uh, the first paragraph will be read by Nazira. Aduh, sakit dah bahu teacher. Now, paragraph two, Kistina. Paragraph three, Shaza. Paragraph four, Aina Najla. Uh, empat orang ni. So, Daniel dengan Nurin, sorry ya. Eh. Teacher baca siapa the first four. But thank you, Daniel and Nurin. So right now, are you guys ready? We're going to start reading the paragraphs now. As usual, macam tadi, teacher, I've already told you guys that. Um, as we go through the paragraphs, if there are any other words that you don't know, go ahead and highlight and ask me about the words, okay? All right, now let's go to the first student, Nazira. Hi, Nazira. Hi, hey, Miss. Hello, are you ready to help me read the first paragraph? I'm ready. Let's go. I was a bit more adventurous yesterday. I went to Ika and John's house. They have got this virtual reality headset you put on to, to play computer games. It was amazing, but after a while, I feel a bit sick. I had to get, I had to get some fresh air. Yes, right? Good job. Thank you, Nazira. Thank you, no problem. Okay, one second. Let me lower her hand. So in this paragraph, what did Shasha Shushu say? Apa diluahkan dalam diary dia, Shasha Shushu? Macam nak pelat S rasa dia sebut nama dia, Shasha Shushu. All right, so dia cerita. Semalam, uh, yesterday, she felt a bit more adventurous. Dia rasa macam nak cuba sesuatu yang baru sikit lah. Dia rasa adventurous sikit. So what did she do? She went to Ika and John's house. Ada uh, pergilah rumah kawan dia ni. Kenapa? Dekat rumah at Ika's, uh, Ika and John's house, there's a there's a VR, atau bukan there's lah. There are VR headsets. Diorang ada VR headsets. So, by the way, on a uh, side note, I've always wanted to try the VR thingy. Teacher tak pernah cuba lagi. Teringin lah nak cuba. I don't know, it looks fun. Siapa dah pernah cuba? Siapa tanya sekejap? Who have tried out the VR thing? The, I, I don't know if it's a game. I think it's more like a game, kan? Ke bukan? Siapa macam macam game? Kan, 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 kan? It's a game, right? Who have tried it out before? Siapa nak cuba? Best tak? You know which one, what, which, which game do I want to try out? They got your different scenarios or different situations, kan? They had a different scenario yang kita boleh guna, kan? I want to try out the one where you stand on top of the building. You want to know why? Do you want to know why? It's about I'm scared of heights. So, I'm scared of heights. So I want to try that out to see how does it feel like to stand on top of a building using the VR headsets. Nak rasa. Ayah hantu kena kejar dengan zombie tu pun that one looks, that one looks um, awesome as well. I would like to try that out. Macam best. Kat KL ada tau orang buat benda tu. Like a, uh, like a place for you guys to try out these things. Nantilah boleh jumpa kan? Okay, kita sambung, kita sambung, kita sambung. Where will we? Uh, 
Okay, so rumah kawan tu ada <laughs> VR headsets. Alright, and then so Shasha cakap, she said that it was amazing, best VR headsets tu. But then after a while, dia rasa she felt a bit sick. Dah main-main-main tertiba rasa macam, eh mabur lah. Ha, felt a bit sick tu rasa macam mabur pula main benda ni pening lah eh. Okay, bukan mabur apa, mabur pening. Alright. So because of that, she had to go out to get some fresh air. So dia pun pergi ambil angin kejap lah. Uh, nak tenangkan diri. Uh, itulah first paragraph dia. Do you have any other words that you would like to ask me? It's quite easy. But just in case. Ada tak? Tak ada eh? Can we move on to the second paragraph? Would that be okay? Boleh? Okay, jom. Let's go to the second paragraph. We have Christina. After Christina will be Shaza. Shaza, get ready. Let's go with Christina. Kisina, hi. Hi, Miss. Hello, are you ready? Yes. Let's go then. Jump. We walk down to the river. You know that place where there are a lot of boats. We went there. Ika saw some friends of hers named Dave and Dan. They are twins and look almost identical, especially as they were wearing similar clothes. Yes, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. And my pleasure. All right, one second. Let me lower her hand. All right. So in this paragraph, remember, she went out to get some fresh air. Shasha ni keluar untuk ambil angin. Dia pergi dekat mana? Dia pergi dekat kawasan sungai. And then ada, there are a lot of birds there. Dia banyak bobot dekat tepi sungai tu. Dia pergi dekat situ. And then she saw some friends. Ah, uh, Dia terdampak pula kawan-kawan dia. Okay. Ika tu sekali dengan Shasha lah maksudnya. Okay, Ika dengan Shasha tu nampak some friends uh, yang bernama Dave and Dan. Uh, so Dave and Dan ni sebenarnya kawan siapa? Kawan Ika lah sebenarnya. Okay. They are twins. Kembar. And look identical, almost identical. Kembar yang hampir seiras. Especially as they were wearing similar clothes. Yes, so again, nampak kembar. Sama kat sini kembar. Cik tengok sikit, kok lah dia yang kembar kat sini. Ada kembar tak kat dalam ni? Tak ada tak? Tak ada eh? Tak ada eh? Oh, tak ada pula. Kadang-kadang ada terselit sepasang kembar kat dalam ni. Okay. So they they wear the, they wear the same clothes. My, by the way, my mom, my mom is a twin as well. She has a twin. So, she's the younger one. Dia yang keluar kemudian. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. So what that is? Shaza. After Shaza will be Aina. Aina, get ready. Let's go with Shaza. Shaza. Hi, Miss. Hello. All right, you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. Dave and Dan invited us to onto a boat which their father and mother own. Their mm. boat is not that big and there were a lot of us in it. I mm. nearly... I nearly fell into the water when I tried to touch the ducks. Yeah, all right. Good job. Thank you, Shaza. One yes. second. Let me lower her hand. So this one is quite easy. So they cerita lah. Remember, they saw Ika and also Shasha saw uh, Dave and Dan. So they orang ni ajar. Jom lah, Amir lah naik boat kita. Uh, who owned the boat? Siapa yang uh, mempu- memiliki, mempunyai, siapa punya boat tu? Boat parents kepada Dave and Danny lah. Okay. And then, dia cakap lagi, the boat was not that big. Boat tu taklah besar, kecil. And there were a lot of them. Ada ramai pula. Boat tak besar. Orangnya ramai. Ha, si baik tak tengok ledok masuk dalam air. <laughs> Sebab apa? Si uh, Shasha ni, she, she tried to touch the ducks when she was on the boat. Duduk dekat dalam bot, bot yang kecil Tapi tangan tu tak ada tidur duduk diam Sibuk nak kacau Ite. Untung tak tergolik dog masuk dekat dalam Air tu hmm. Kalau termasuk dalam air tu Gelakkan je lah Next paragraph okay. Kawan kalau jatuh kita gelakkan kawan tu Hai Aina eh, Macam pakai view sendiri tak Hello Hi teacher Hi. Can okay, you hear okay. my um, voice clearly? Yes, I can. Before that, Aina, can you read, uh, you need to help me read the last paragraph as well. This one, the tiny little paragraph as well. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, let's go. Luckily, we got back to land safely. We Mm. found a cafe near the bridge and had something to eat. We said goodbye to the twins, then went to the cinema. There was not much on for us to watch. So we did not buy tickets and decided to look around the town center. Mm. As I did not have much money, I could not get the get jacket I wanted. 
Mm. I had just enough to buy a necklace and some magazines. Good. All in all, I had a great time yesterday, but no more virtual reality has set for me. Till the next time. Bye. Yes, good job. Thank you, Aina. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so there's uh, the last two paragraphs. So, they cheated lah. Remember, they were on the boats and then they got back to the land safely. Berjaya mendarat. Okay. Learn! Bersyukur. And then what did they do after that? They found a cafe and then they had some meal there. Makan kat situ. Dan lepas tu, they went to the cinema. Diorang dah babai kat tu. So, bye. Gerak lu, Papa Roger. Lepas tu, diorang pergi cinema. Pergi tengok wayang. Tapi, when they got to the cinema, diorang tengok there was not much on for us. Maksudnya apa? Sampai-sampai kat cinema tu tengok macam ni je ke? Cerita ni je ke? Ha, macam tak banyak cerita. So what did they do? They left. Dia orang belah lah. Ha, gitu dia orang belah. So dia orang jalan-jalan around the town, town center. So dia orang tak beli tiket lah. Dia orang jalan-jalan. And then uh, Shasha ni beragi tahu. Dia kata I could not get the jacket I wanted because she did not have enough money. Maksudnya apa? Dia adalah nampak satu jacket yang dia macam macam cantik je. Kira-kira duit tak cukup pula ada 50 sen je. Macam nak beli? Start dia beli. Jadi apa yang dia beli? What did she buy anyway? She bought a necklace and some magazines. Okay? So dia ceritalah. So all in all, maksudnya kesimpulannya, semalam she had a great time. Tapi semalam seronok memang seronok. Tapi dia kata, no more VR headsets for me. Tak nak lagi dah lah main VR tu. Sebab apa? Remember, after she played the VR, she felt a bit sick. Lepas main VR headset tu, dia jadi mabuk sikit lah. Ha, so, dia kata dah lah, tak nak main lagi dah lah. Syeram lah, tak mabuk pula. Ha, gitu. Okay? And we are done. Senang kan? Tak susah. You ready to go through the questions together? Tomorrow ready? Okay, remember. This is the second information transfer. So, the second part, uh, they would usually ask you guys to answer the questions with no more than five words. So, hati-hati. Whatever it is, Always make sure that you guys read the instruction. Tolong pastikan anda sentiasa baca arahan. Dia nak tiga perkataan ke, lima perkataan ke. Right, so let's answer the first one. Number 25. Shasha wrote in her diary about blank the day before. Apa dia tulis dekat dalam diary dia tu? We have read everything. Kita dah baca semua. Semua-semua ni cerita pasal apa sebenarnya? Ha, apa yang dia bebel-bebel sebenarnya kat dalam ni? Okay. Take a guess. This one is a bit tricky sebab dia tak ada clearly mentioned dekat dalam the text. So you just need to tell me apa yang dia uh, apa yang dia tulis sebenarnya. Take a guess. 10 seconds. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1. Good job. Okay, ada yang kata Shasha wrote in her diary about her adventures. The day before. Boleh. Tapi kat sini teacher bagi jawapan about what she did. Senang. Kalau awak tulis, Shasha wrote in her diary about her activities the day before. Pun teacher, teacher terima. Uh, asalkan jawapan tu make sense and cukup five words, boleh je. Okay? Boleh ya? Are you guys okay? So again, this one, the answer tak ada yang specifically, specifically from the text. Her experience, boleh tak? Shasha wrote in her diary about her experience the day before. Boleh. Okay. Shall we go to numbers 26? Boleh. Number 26. At Ika and John's house, Shasha felt, dia rasa apa? Masa dekat rumah uh, Ika dengan rumah John tu. Ah, ten. This one is clearly stated in the text. Okay. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, she felt a bit sick. Adi yang jawab, uh, Shasha felt amazing but a bit sick. Boleh tak? Amazing but a bit sick. Cukup lima? Boleh diterima. Tak ada masalah. Okay? So, jom. Let's highlight the, the clue. What is it? This one. It's the second last sentence. In the first paragraph. All right. Is everyone okay? That was easy, right? 
Let's move on to the next question. Hi, Nuri Inshira. Hi, Akil Raif. Ah, she baru nampak awak punya gambar, apa, camera. Number 27. Dave is dense. Ah, who is dense to Dave? Siapa yang kan dead pada Dave? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exactly. Dave is dense twin or identical twin. If you wrote brother, pun diterima. Okay, tapi specifically lebih kepada identical twin lah. Okay, is that okay? Where's the clue? Eh, 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 eh. Mana tadi? What is it? Mew, 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 mew. They are twins. This part right here. Dave and Dan, they are twins. Okay. Next part. 28. The boat belongs to whom? Siapa punya? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exactly. The boat belongs to Dave and Dan's parents. Pandai. Senang lah. Okay, where's your clue? It's right here. In the next paragraph. Okay. It's the very first sentence. All right. Done. Let's go to the next one. So gum eh, gambar akhir raif ni. Seram dia cuba tengok dia punya miau mulut ngang 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 macam tu. Terjut gegel. Okay, let's go to number 29. Shasha nearly had an accident during the boat trip because she kenapa? <laughs> Apa dia buat yang dia hampir accident tu? Apa yang dia cuba cuba lakukan ketika itu? What was she trying to do? Ha, huh. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Exactly. She was trying to touch to touch the ducks. Cebok nak. Ide. Ide. Ha, lepas tu tergolek kat dalam tu. Kalau tergolek kita gelakkan dulu. Gelakkan dulu baru tolong eh. Ha, so mana tadi? Where's the clue? It's in here. The last sentence. Yo. Okay. Done. Next one. Yo. Eh, 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 eh. 30. After her meal, Shasha went. Huh. Where did she go after her meal? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes. She went to the cinema. Good job, everyone. Where's the clue? Jom, kita tandakan clue dia. It's in the next paragraph. Sentence, which sentence is this? One, two, three. The third sentence. Okay. Next paragraph. Third sentence. All right. Next one. Number 31. What item did Shasha really want to buy? Apa item yang dia sebenarnya betul-betul nak beli? Be careful. Read the question carefully. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the key word here is item that she really want to buy. Yang dia sebenarnya nak beli. So what was it? It was a jacket. Ah, Yang dia nak beli sebenarnya adalah jacket. But then, kenapa dia tak beli? Because she didn't have enough money. Ha, okay, so that's the answer. Okay. Sikit lagi, if you want. Number 32. Shasha is not keen to use blank in the future. Hmm. What was the thing that she was not keen to use? Tak keen, keen tu apa? Maksudnya ayat ni adalah dia tak tak gemar atau tak berminat nak cuba lagi. Ha, itu maksud keen lah. Okay. So what's the answer? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, it was the virtual reality headset. Why? Look at the last paragraph. She said that, but no more virtual reality headsets for me. Kata tak mau dah lah guna VR headset tu. Pening. Ah, that's why she said that. Okay, two more. All right, so be careful. Teacher nak remind sekejap. Kita, uh, teacher tahu we only have one minute left. A little reminder. For the last question, question, for the last two questions, be careful. Sometimes they want you to choose 
a word from the text. Sometimes they want you to choose a phrase from the text. So hati-hati. Kalau dia minta a word, make sure one word. Kalau dia minta a phrase, maknanya lebih daripada satu perkataan pun boleh. So hati-hati, okay? So this one, teacher terus bagi jawapan sebab kita dah tak ada maksa. Alright. So the first, number 33. Willing to try new things. So which word has the same meaning as this one? So the answer is adventurous. So the jawapan dia adalah adventurous in the first paragraph. And then we have very good. The answer is amazing. Ah, dah habis. Sadaqallahu lazim habis dah semuanya. All right. So right now teacher nak tanya, semua orang okay ke? Is everyone okay? <laughs> yeah, I want to go mandi. Tak mandi lagi. <laughs> tak apalah teacher faham kat rumah kan cucu cuti ni mana nak belajarnya. Okey. Ala bye lawan ni pagi. Terima kasih. Nasha Allah so sweet. Okay, terima kasih. Um, I'm going to end the class right here. A little reminder. Don't forget to download the answers later. Jangan lupa download jawapan. Takut ada yang you guys miss any of the answers kan? Okay. Um, if you have any other classes, enjoy your classes. If you don't, uh, uh, enjoy your rest. Have a good rest. Rehab betul. Jangan lupa makan. Jaga diri. Bye-bye semua. I'll see you guys very soon again. Ta-da. Mini love. Bye.